point of view you think that I'm insane It's not safe Cassette community! What's going on? It's LJ and I'm back for another cassette video. I think this is number four at this point. I'm not sure. But I am getting ready to finally start building that cassette shelf on the wall. So pulling boxes up and all of this is from my existing collection. None of these are recent pickups. This is all stuff I've had. If there's any doubles in the ones that I'm going to show you, it's just because sadly I don't always know what I have. And that's because I don't have the shelf up. I don't have them alphabetized or sorted by genre. So shame on me, bad boy. Let's get into some cassettes. Some cool stuff in here. I grabbed this box, I was pretty excited. Uh, maybe I won't talk too much about all of them and maybe I'll remember what I show from now on. I've kind of been putting them in a box that says showed to VC, isn't that sad? Anyways, here is Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. There is Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic. And somewhere on CD, but not on 8-track, is Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic. This is the same copy that was bought for me by my mother on my 16th birthday, 1991, 15th birthday. Could not wait to get this. Loved the Chili Peppers, and I love this cassette. I think I've shown it. Oh well. Some more 90s grunge. Here's Temple of the Dog. Um, oh man, Hunger Strike was a massive song when it first came out. Just absolutely huge with um, Eddie Vedder and Chris Cornell from Soundgarden. I remember that absolutely taking over MTV in between Beavis and Butthead. Very, very cool tape. Um, lots of cool songs. That and Mother Love Bone, I think, were kind of always the outcasts. Um, there's another copy of Pearl Jam Verses. I may have five of those. Don't hold me to that, but it's somewhere near there. Soundgarden's Super Unknown. Steve Lunacy, uh, vinyl community member, picked this up on vinyl. Still jealous. Uh, I don't own it on vinyl. Fantastic cassette, fantastic band. All these are clear tapes by this point, at least here in the US anyways. And uh, from what I gathered from uh, Spellerine, who did a pretty cool cassette community video as well, even Canada had switched over to clear cassettes by the 90s. Bad Motorfinger, this is the album that got me into Soundgarden, and this is probably a late middle school, early high school thing. Outshined was just an awesome song that every band wanted to learn how to play. Killer stuff. Still trying to learn how to hold these. Here's Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. So clearly in this part of the box we have most of my 90s alternative grunge in Seattle type stuff. A lot of these tapes are the ones that just defined my high school years. I was a freshman in high school in 1990. That's ninth grade for our European friends. And these are the cassettes that, that's just when grunge exploded. Here's uh, Alice in Chains, Facelift. This has, of course, uh, Man in the Box, another one that every band I was ever in just wanted to learn how to play. Very, very cool cassette. I have to say Dirt is my favorite Alice in Chains release. Uh, so I'm kind of looking at this saying what other similar stuff is in there? Nothing. So we'll just keep going. Here's Nelson's After the Rain. This is probably a quarter or kept from a, a girlfriend or a relationship who's, you know, at that point they would say, I, I left the tape at, you know, this song and give it to you and this is our song and you'd put it in and it would be like, you know, After the Rain or something like that. And then you just end up with the cassette. If I bought it, I don't think I paid more than a quarter for I will defend Nelson by saying, yeah, they are absolutely ridiculous, but the music isn't bad. I just lost my headbanger card. But I'm getting it back with Operation Mindcrime. What an awesome cassette. I'm fumbling all over the place tonight. So there's Operation Mindcrime from Queensryche. I never understood the storyline. My bad. Skid Row. Same boat as a Nelson. Kind of, you know what? It's just good music. It sounds good to my ears. I understand they're kind of campy, but whatever. Here is Kansas Live at the Whiskey. This was a gift from uh, Dwayne, a uh, fellow VC member, Lazarus. Dwayne gave this to me uh, maybe mid last year. He sent me some cassettes. This was one of them. Thanks, Dwayne. Here's Tears for Fears with the Seeds of Love. 
So again, veering out of metal a little bit, but never much further than 80s uh, synth pop and new wave. That's a great album. Let's see, what else do we have going on here? It is easy top action. Here's Trace Hombres. Kind of just your straightforward 80s white cassette. Here is ZZ Top's Antenna. Uh, this is cool. I don't see this around very often. I haven't listened to it in a while, but I do remember it being a great, great, great album. I'm looking for the year on it. I can't find it. Uh, 1994. So there's Antenna, a later period ZZ Top album. This would have followed Recycler. Then, Good cassette. What else do we have going on here? Okay, we all need a little mid-80s rock. So, Men at Work, this is Two Hearts. I do like Men at Work a lot. Fantastic tape. And another fantastic tape, this is The Outfields Play Deep. Gotta love this one. I don't wanna use your love tonight. Fantastic. It should be said that, with exception to some of the 90s alternative stuff, just because it's stupid money on vinyl, I own most of this on vinyl as well. Here's another one I'd love to own on vinyl that I know every note to. This is Soul Asylum, Great Dancers Union. This is, with the exception of Runaway Train, which is beat to a pulp. Check this out, side 13 and side 14. How different do you want to be when you do that? Just an awesome, awesome tape. Awesome band. Here is Robert Plant, Shaken and Stirred. This is a later Robert Plant effort. I do like Plant solo stuff, 1985. Plant's kind of been up and down for me since he, uh, Led Zeppelin disbanded. This is on Esperanza. Still some cool stuff. Rolling Ted Nugent, great gongo. Gonzo's, great bongos. <laughs> I'm a bongo. Uh, best of Ted Nugent. Love Uncle Ted. Lover Boys, Get Lucky, a little early 80s AOR on your standard white cassette. What else do we have here? Yeah! DLR, Eat em and Smile. This has probably the most disturbing image of David Lee Roth that you ever want to see in your life. Whatever. Good tape. DLR Skyscraper. This must be just like living in paradise. And I don't want to go home. Alright, I don't want to jump the gun on a Van Halen or Kiss collection, so I'm going to slide those back. Here's Robin Trower's Take What You Need. I love Robin Trower. What a great guitarist. Straight out of Broken Worm. Robin Trower. Fantastic, fantastic guitar player. REO's High End Fidelity. I've seen other copies of this that have the full picture on the front. Definitely a big REO fan. I love everything from the early 70s right up until the 80s. This is Meat Loaf's Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell. All the charismatic, cinematic goodness of Meat Loaf rolled back up to you. I would do anything for love, but I can't do that. Sucks ass. But it did take over MTV. Here is Journey, Trial by Fire. This is later period Journey, um, 1996. I will say this about Journey's Trial by Fire. It sucks. This is a terrible album. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. As a matter of fact, if you want to see what the insides of a cassette look like, that's one we'll take apart. Don't buy it. Um, ELO's Balance of Power. What year did this come out? 1986. Very, very late ELO. I don't remember this being a fantastic album. I haven't listened to it in a long time. Starship's Knee Deep in the Hoopla. I am a guilty fan. I love Sarah. And I love We Built This City on Rock and Roll. The Who. Face Dances. That's my face dancing. This actually isn't a bad Who album, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a Columbia House Music copy it's from 1981. I have this on vinyl as well, and it has a dramatically different cover, if anybody that has this on vinyl picks up on that. Here's the Cars. Shake it up. Love me some Cars, 1981. Again, kind of just a UK-style picture in the center of the case. What else is in here? Mm-hmm. 
Alan Parson Project, Eye in the Sky. I see some more. Oh, here's two that were shown today by Long Lost LP Man. Here's Stone Temple Pilots Core. Absolute soundtrack to the year it was released. And Stone Temple Pilots, what's the official name for this? Purple? Great cassette. Interstate love song, probably one of the best songs ever written. Let's keep rolling. Candlebox. Excellent album. The follow-up to this, Lucy, not so much, but um, what was it? Don't You and Far Behind. Just amazing, amazing songs. Actually, almost all of this is good. I should listen to this later. I've never seen that on vinyl. I've only seen this on vinyl once. Um, Mark, fellow VC member of MyRootube, owns this on vinyl, and he must have paid two bills for it, because it just is crazy money, because it's a great album. But you know what, that's what Long Lost LP Man was saying earlier too. Why would you pay $200 for this on vinyl? Not that I blame Mark for doing it, it's the collector in all of us. I mean, I've paid money for albums, but this is a dollar at any yard sale, and this was probably either a quarter or I bought it new in high school. I honestly can't remember at this point. But why does it have to be so much crazy money on vinyl? Because vinyl wasn't produced then, idiot. Here's Rush, All the World's a Stage. As far as live Rush albums go, I am an Exit Stage Left fan uh, over All the World's a Stage. But this is kind of cool. Twin pack, double listening pleasure. Um, music cassettes up here. It kind of breaks the standard format of what you would see on a cassette, which was neat. There's Joe Jackson's I'm the Man. Get behind Cassette Community member and president, Abe Fuzzy, with a little Joe Jackson. Let's go through a couple more and then we'll call this one a night because I see a lot of stuff in here I want to put into artist collections. Here is the Jay Gals Band, You're Getting Me Even While I'm Getting Odd. EMI cassettes always had some pretty interesting um, printing. I just found this on vinyl the other day and that completed my Jay Gals collection. Yes, Tormato, again with the widescreen bars, if you want to call them that at the top and bottom. The Best of the Scorpions, this is not Rockers and Ballads, it's just an earlier comp, Steam Rock Fever. In trance, I don't see anything in here past Virgin Killer, so it's neat for that fact, and that's an early Scorpions pump. More ZZ Top with Afterburner, and I know Eliminator and Recycler are running around here as well. Leonard Skinner, nothing fancy, classic Skinner album. Da, da, da. Bob Seeger, Stranger in Town. Love some Bob Seeger. Bob is great Americana summer music. And there's Stranger in Town. Um, two more out of this box, and then the rest are going in artist collections. Here's George Harrison's Cloud Nine. I wonder if I got this one in a lot or something, because I'm honestly not a big fan of this album. I do like it, but I like the video. Um, Forgot my mind set on you with all the talking fish and the talking deer heads on the wall, and that was crazy. That was like a sixth grade <laughs> wow moment. But When We Was Fab is so tongue in cheek and a great song. And here's Weather Report with Heavy Weather. It's me indulging my jazz side, my jazz fusion side. Weather Report with Heavy Weather. I'm gonna call that one a video and my current entry in the uh, cassette community so i hope you guys dug it feel free to leave comments ask any questions you have thanks a million to all of the new subscribers that have jumped on board lately i really appreciate it appreciate you guys watching and hope everyone's doing well keep the cassette community videos coming ciao